I finally got the damn pens right and I finally assigned new controls to my computer. Now, how many times did it take me this time? Mm, I'd say about three times. I had to go get some health. And here we are at Magna... Magna? I think it's Magna Centipede now. But um, I just want to see what I can do if, when it comes to changing the order up with my boss fights. Usually I always go by the, the crocodile thing in Magic, but right now, hmm, I want to see if I can do a no damage run for this. Now one of the things you've got to worry about this boss is the fact that he teleports all over the place. And he also uses his telepathy to sort of get you in. As well as throw shit at you, so you just gotta make sure you gotta jump and dodge around. Um, you can sort of use the dash to duck, but he's pretty quick. Um, he's not a very hard boss. Stop bloody teleporting! You think you're bison? Again... Just dodge out of the way. Now one of the things you can actually do is, well, you can also fuck around with your controls. Um, Sometimes you see, yep, the grav gravity pull right there. Um, you can always struggle right out. But he, when he actually grabs you, uh, I'll demonstrate it right here. Yeah. Now I can't charge, so he's just totally fucked around with the controls. But again, this is a pretty easy boss. Um, I want to see if I can actually do the whole game without any sort of, well, power-ups, I could say. It's not that hard of a game. Ah, fuck this boss. I hate this boss so damn much. <sighs> also, farming just to get one ration it took me a good 30 minutes to actually get some rations. I don't know why, I'm just extremely unlucky. But here we go. Um, he actually gets Meryl back to fight. And he just pop a damn stun grenade into her mouth and she's gone. Your balls! Oh. I remember thinking this used to be really sadistic when I was really young, but uh, a pretty easy solution, just beat her up. So as I was saying last video, um, I just realized there are some actual things you can't dodge by just ducking under. And you'll see some of them right now. Um, when you get to about half his health, he stops throwing shit around for a bit and starts flying around throwing those balls of energy psychic power things. I don't know. But as soon as you get into the last maybe 10% of his health, he throws everything right at you. Everything possible. All the attacks. Everything. And I'm lucky that I'm not doing a no damage run right here because there is... It's really hard to avoid everything. But yeah, you can't actually avoid those paintings. Um, by do uh, ducking. Oh, finally. After a good, maybe an hour's worth of practice, finally got it down. Colonel, your niece is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Nah, I don't know about that, especially in the next part. <sighs> you used the other... Yes, I used the keyboard. Actually, he actually pulled out another keyboard to actually get this run down, so maybe he was right. Maybe he actually is psychic. Why are you telling me this? Maybe his power is actually pretty good and I shouldn't doubt it. And that's one ugly motherfucker. But here we go. I beat the boss. Hey, and Meryl's health actually goes up at the same time as well. So how about we just uh, pay some respects to Psycho Mantis a little? I reckon we should, hey. So we'll just go back and find his body so we can teabag it because of all the damage and hurt that he's actually given to my soul right now. And if you actually noticed then, if something just popped up, that was actually my sticky keys uh, going off there from pressing shift so often when I was teabagging him. So it serves me right for being a little bit crude in my humour. Now this part, um, a little bit tricky. Usually this part is supposed to be really dark and you're supposed to use the night vision goggles But I'm lazy and I didn't get it. Instead we could just use the thermal goggles uh, Therm G I should say And he does the exact same thing 
And one of the things I'm actually going to do with this part, I'm going to slightly cheat. Um, you can see right now I'm sort of not having a bit of trouble shooting the uh, the dogs right here. And I hate shooting dogs, but I end up dying. I forgot to actually, uh, I forgot the button when it comes to going into first person view movement. And I realized I was playing around with my keyboard at the time, so now I just whipped out my Xbox controller and I can actually play for once. But yeah, I actually hate shooting dogs. Uh, no one likes it. Every single movie that has a dog dying ends up being a really shit movie. Only thing that wasn't bad was The Terminator 2, but I'm just digressing right here. So, here's my trick. Because it's really hard to see where the dogs are, and as soon as they find you, usually they pretty much latch onto you, it's really hard to shoot. So what I'll do is actually use the first person view shooting. And again, the uh, invincibility frames for the dogs is pretty lenient, so it takes me forever to kill a dog. Ah, <sighs> poor thing. But um... And yet, it's actually quite hard navigating this area. Not because it's dark, I can see everything, but because there are holes everywhere. And you sort of have to look around, make sure where all the holes are. Uh, not in terms of the, the ground floors, but like there's holes in the wall where you have to crawl through. And when you have these dogs taking forever to kill and taking off a fair bit of health, it gets quite grinding. But lucky, lucky uh, enough, I actually remember which way to go, so it shouldn't be too bad in terms of recording it um yeah especially the hardest wall to find which is the exact way out is that wall right there for some reason that it's really hard to see but yeah got through it i rememorized it it's all good uh, snake what's wrong i thought you were good with dogs but he's a snake why should he be good with dogs and here's a bit of a trick for you. Another one. Let's equip our cardboard box. Get it out. Now, let's be a bastard puncher and go into our box. Now. And it would actually piss on the box, which is um, a strange thing to add. But it actually helps you out because now that your box smells of urine, the dogs would actually like you. Uh, if you go, because I need to backtrack through this area anyway, it would actually help you a hell of a lot out. And I forgot what the actual door was there, sorry about that. But here is another scene. Uh, in particular, I feel that lately this game has become a boss rush. Like, I totally forgot, um, maybe whenever I play by myself or whenever I just in the mood to play some Metal Gear, you know? Maybe I'm so absorbed in the game that I don't realize that the whole game is essentially just bosses. <laughs> now that after doing this LP and just being a little bit mindful of everything, yeah, these past four videos and stuff, it's all been boss fights. But, um, here we go, Meryl says that, um, Ever since being possessed by Psychomantis, for some reason she can see everything, especially when it comes to minds. She feels it. That's not exactly how psychics work again, but she tells you to follow the so footsteps because it? if Pretty you good, huh? step off it, you, know you pretty much blow up and weird, get killed by Claymore Mines. Mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Are you impressed? Well, a little bit. Only a little? Yeah, only a little bit. Do you know why? Because I'm a fucking cunt, and I just pretty much cheat right here. Screw you, bitch. I don't need to walk on your damn footsteps. I'm just gonna scroll over everything and get some claymore mines. And I want to collect some more, just because I know there is a boss fight, as always, in which I actually need to use these claymore mines. Do you know which one it is? Hmm. And let me tell you, it is not two tanks Meryl what is it Meryl 
Oh no, I can't figure it out. Aww. Maybe she's like a cat, she's got the reaction skills of a cat and a laser pointer. Just gotta figure it out first. Okay, so in this part, Meryl gets shot. Again, he says it's a trap. Um, if you've watched the movie Predator, Predators, I think, the newish one with Adrian Brody, they essentially do the same thing where the hunter, or maybe the sniper in this case, actually puts bait out so she can sort of get Snake to come out and uh, help her out when... You shouldn't because she'll just pick her off. And I just realized I don't have Otacon's um, codec. Damn it! Um, I just wanted to call him up so I can show you that. Um, I'll tell you that the PSG1 or the sniper rifle is actually in the earlier part of the game. That means a lot of backtracking. Um, we don't need the sniper rifle because we can't actually battle the boss. And we can't actually get the sniper rifle early anyway because all the doors were locked before it and now that we have the double fee 5 key that's more accessible so now we'll probably most likely have to be backtracking and that means going through all the doors that we didn't go through yay if only I could find some more missile packs and I just realized that I can't crawl through little gaps with my cardboard box So there we have it. Um, again, I don't know if I want to do live commentary. I'm not doing it right now. Uh, I wish I was. Uh, partially because I am so branded after that Psychomantis fight. I just want to relax a little bit. Play out things. Go outside. Go for a walk. The nice things in life rather than playing some stupid game with some sort of sneaking guy going around with a really ludicrous world. And this is why I love Metal Gear. Um, I go back here. Um, hey, you're still taking a slash. Oh well. Crack his neck again. Uh, lucky enough, hopefully he doesn't get any pee on us. Wash our hands, dry our hands. And let's go, let's have a look at all the other rooms here. Um, the reason why I'm going through here is that there are there are some drugs here, diazepam, which actually helps you from trembling. Uh, especially handy when you gotta snipe things. And also especially the fact that we don't really have analog controls, it's all digital crap. Hey, there's a night vision goggles. It's all digital crap because, I don't know, it makes sniping incredibly hard. The rate of fidelity is really bad, so you gotta make sure you take the drugs here. I don't condone that sort of stuff. But, um, yeah. Oh, that's right, it's not an elevator. <laughs> See, that's how bad the whole Psycho Mantis fight was, me, was it for me. I can't remember what I'm doing. Ooh, nearly got caught there. It's ruined my brain a little bit, which is ironic because of Psycho Mantis and you know what he encompasses. But at least we don't have to think about that ever again. Unless we're playing Metal Gear Solid 4. Now, one of the tricks I want to show you... Oh, sweet rations. It took me forever to farm one before the actual boss fight. And now that I'm recording... I don't know, they just decided to toss it in for free, so maybe it's the... Uh, Recording gods, giving me a sign, blessing me with the sun. But um, I'm just going to use the cardboard, tr cardboard box trick here, which lets you teleport places, um, depending on the label. It would actually transport us to where it should, us, uh, should take us. So this cardboard box here tells us that we're going to the heliport, so we'll just wait back here and it'll tell us, teleport us there. But in the meantime, I think that should be a video right there. Catch you next time.